Tomorrow is the biggest Saturday of the college football season. It's the day of the traditional big games like Michigan, Ohio State, Yale, Harvard, Oklahoma, Nebraska, and UCLA Southern Cal. Under ordinary conditions, the two California teams would probably be contending for the right to play in the Rose Bowl, but not this year. Both were ruled out after disclosures that many of their players were in, as inept in the classroom as they were adept on the field. In our special segment tonight, Don Oliver reports on the problems of one of those schools. It is football that brought USC its fame. Football that created what they call here the Trojan spirit, a fervor, a mania to win. Football created pride in the University of Southern California, pride that translated into money, huge donations, to build the buildings where the 12,000 students go to learn. In football and other sports, USC has produced a lot of winners, a whole building full of trophies, victories in four of the last six Rose Bowl games. But this year's team won't be in the Rose Bowl. A third of the football players were found last spring enrolled in speech classes that didn't meet. USC was suspended from the Rose Bowl, and the university began its own investigation of athletes on campus. The new president of USC, Dr. James Zumberg, produced a report which showed that more than 300 athletes in 10 years had been admitted to USC even though they didn't come close to meeting the academic standards set for other entering freshmen. Most were football players admitted automatically on the request of the athletic department without the normal academic reviews, a winning tradition built on sham. Rich Bonin was the campus newspaper reporter who broke the story about the speech class scandal. I was able to see a quote, the entire exam of one football player um, who took the original makeup of the speech course and um, he was completely illiterate. USC officials now admit that some of the athletes taken in as academic exceptions, and that's what they called them, were functional illiterates. High school athletes who had never bothered or were never urged to learn to read or write. Most of them never graduated from USC, but many of them played very well on its athletic fields. Athletic director Dr. Richard Perry thinks USC was doing nothing other schools weren't. There's little question in my mind that there's not a single student athlete that we've admitted to this university in the last 10 years that had we not admitted them, that we would have played against them on our schedule somewhere during the course of the season. New President Zumberg takes a different view. We were bringing people that, uh, no matter how much they were counseled, simply didn't have the previous training or capacity to, uh, to move into the mainstream of university academic life. Zumberg ordered a halt and reforms. Some have begun. A study table for all freshman basketball players. An academic coordinator to review athletes' progress in the classroom special tutoring, and even instruction in the use of the library, how to take notes. They now realize here that too many athletes think the classroom is for other students, not ball players. The university says it is trying to come to grips with the attitude that college is just a stepping stone to the pro ranks. Maybe 10% of USC's players make it into professional football. LA Rams quarterback Pat Hayden is one and one who thinks the system has gone awry. And the universities are academic institutions. They're not minor leagues for, for professional athletics. And all the, all the alumni from the university are going to have to um, say, okay, we'll let you do that. We're going to accept you losing three or four games, and we're not going to cut off our contributions because you happen to lose to UCLA or Notre Dame this year. But will these people accept that? The ones who gather on autumn Saturdays to cheer the Trojans on? Many of them still seem to think USC had done nothing wrong in its admissions program. No, I, I see nothing wrong at all. They're using it. Everybody else is using it, so I don't see anything wrong with it. If you're not doing it, you're not up on top. That's all. President Zumberg says he himself is a football fan, but one who believes the time has come to control the game to regain integrity in the university. If, in fact, the alumni of this university are more interested in the athletic program than they are in the academic program, then I don't think I want to be the president of USC. But can this university maintain its new commitment to the credo of Tommy Trojan if the schools with which it competes 
don't do the same. Don Oliver, NBC News, Los Angeles. That's the NBC Nightly News for Friday. John Chancellor will be back Monday. I'm Roger Mudd.